Uh, good day, uh, students. Uh, especially to my students in the subject forensic question document examination. Last meeting, I already uh, discussed uh, the overview of the forensic question document examination. Today, our uh, order of presentations are uh, the definition of uh, document, question document, and uh, question. And uh, now, number two is the important definitions of terms, purpose of document examination, uh, legal basis of documents, writings which do not constitute documents, kinds of documents, and classes of questioned documents. So, um, to start with, First is, we need to define what is a document. So, uh, document is refers to any materials containing marks, symbols, or signs, either visible, partially visible, that may present, or uh, ultimately uh, convey a meaning to someone, maybe in a form of pencil, ink, writing, uh, typewritings, or uh, print, uh, printing on paper. So meaning, when we say document, uh, any, any marks or symbols, okay, that uh, it, whether either it is a partially visible or invisible is considered as a document. Okay, so meaning anything, okay, that, that convey a meaning, okay, uh, it's either uh, it is a symbol, okay, uh, a marks, okay, that convey a meaning from one person to another is considered as a document. So, uh, how did the term, uh, how did the term document uh, evolve, or the etymology of the term document? So, the term document are came from the uh, Latin word documentum means lesson, and uh, it was also came from the French, French word docere means to teach. Okay, so um, documents can be a piece of writing. Okay, so a piece of writing by uh, in which provides information or that acts as a, a record of event. Okay, so ob object containing information in terms of uh, law, which is an object such as a movie, a photograph, or uh, audio recording that contains information can be used as an evidence. Okay? And another one, document can be a computer file. Okay? Wherein, a file created using an application program, uh, for example, Let's say, for example, in database, spreadsheet, illustration, or text file, it is considered as uh, a document, okay, in terms of computer file, okay? So, um, <clears throat> how about the term question? Okay, the term question refers to any material which some issue has been raised or which is under scrutiny. Take note the term material. Okay, so as much as uh, as far as material is concerned, uh, there are there are a different in a various forms of material, especially in uh, in police matters. Okay, in police matters, let's say for example evidence. Okay, evidence that is questioned, like let's say for example a fingerprint. Okay. So, a fingerprint that was recovered from the crime scene or found at the crime scene, rather, is considered as a material. Okay? So, uh, a firearm. Okay? A firearm, a bullet, or ammunition found at the crime scene is considered as a material. And other forms of evidence, okay, or pieces of evidence, rather, that can be found at the crime scene is considered as a material. So, 
these are being questioned, okay? Especially during investigation and during court hearing, okay? These are the materials that, that is under scrutiny or under investigation, okay? So, um, <clears throat> this material is considered as a physical evidence. When we say physical evidence, physical evidence uh, is any object that, are, uh, that is found at the crime scene or recovered from the crime scene. So, uh, uh, when we say uh, questioned in document, of course, these are the documents which are under scrutiny. Let's say, for example, poisonous letter or uh, uh, suicide letter, okay? Suicide notes, bank notes, okay? So, example of physical evidence that uh, maybe we found at the crime scene, okay? These are the object, the weapon, tools, firearms, okay? Displays uh, furniture, notes letter which is in relation to our subject that is the uh, that is uh, very related okay to our subject forensic question document the notes and letters or papers okay but as far as material is concerned all of them like a bullet vehicle cigarette blood semen hair tissue okay and other and so on and other uh, uh, material Okay, that are found at the crime scene is considered as a physical evidence. Okay, so um, <clears throat> how about the term question document? When we say question document, one in which the facts appearing therein may not be true and contested either in whole part with respect to its authenticity, identity, or origin. So, question document. Uh, maybe uh, a deed, a contract, um, yes, uh, uh, election ballot, okay, marriage contract, checks, visas, application form, check writers, and certificates, okay, uh, maybe a subject for questioned document, okay, so um, a document. Uh, is question uh, when 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 we say that a document is considered question, okay? You may ask class, when does document become a uh, question? So a document is question because its origin, uh, it's because of its origin, its content or circumstance, and story regarding is a production aroused suspicious. Okay, in other words, there is a suspicious or there are something wrong with that document. Okay, as a, a suspicious or something wrong with that document as, as of its genuineness. Okay, or maybe adversely, uh, adversely scrutinized simply because it is displays, displaces someone. Okay, further. Uh, document uh, is questioned when it is disputed or attacked either uh, in a whole or uh, in a part to its date, okay? Take note the term uh, date or age, okay? As to its source or origin, uh, as, to, uh, as to the material used in the production, of course, um, in terms of productions and as, uh, as it to its relations in some other documents, okay? Relevancy, okay? Take, uh, the term relevancy in some other document, it is relevant to uh, this document and to the other document, okay? So, um, it must be take note further that... Uh, uh, in our discussion in forensic question document, that the term disputed document in question document uh, can be used interchangeably in our subject. Okay? And even, uh, even the forensic question document can be used interchangeably. Okay? I'll repeat, uh, uh, the term disputed document, question document, and forensic question document can be used interchangeably in our subject. Okay, so um, 
because uh, these things, okay, uh, these things may signify a document which is under special scrutiny or investigation. Okay, so um, what are the other important terms? Okay, in uh, uh, for the purpose of our discussion, the following are the important terms to be uh, uh, considered or uh, must be known by the uh, students. So number one is the term standard or also known as standard document. So standard or standard document, aka also known as standard document, is uh, refers to condensed and compact set of authentic specimens, origins are known and can be proven which can be legally used as an example to compare with other matters in question. Okay? On the other hand, is exemplar. When we say exemplar, exemplar is uh, a term used by some document examiners and attorneys to, to characterize known materials. Standard is the older form. So uh, take note, the term standard and exemplar can be used interchangeably in this uh, 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 subject. However, okay, I don't know. Uh, standard and exemplar, okay, is um, is uh, both, okay, a compact set of authentic specimen, okay, which um, um, which may example to compare with other matters in question. So, in other words, uh, standard and exemplar in our discussion or in the subject forensic question document can be used interchangeably because it is a form of a compact set of authentic specimen. Okay? So, uh, uh, an example of this is uh, when we say standard, standard uh, signature. Okay? On the other hand is a question signature. Okay? Then, uh, sa kanila i-compare ngayon yan. Okay? So, uh, it is a both material, okay, standard and exemplar. Number three is reference collection. So reference co collection is a material compiled and organized by document examiner to assist, to assist him in answering special questions. Okay, so still this these are the uh, pieces of evidence, okay, these are the pieces of evidence, okay, uh, that are collected, okay, or compiled by the uh, question document examiner, okay, and um, uh, an example of this are the uh, examples of um, uh, reference are the, let's say, for example, uh, typewritings. Uh, check writing specimen, ink, okay, uh, pens, pencil, and uh, papers are uh, frequently maintained by the um, question document examiner, okay. Uh, let's say, for example, uh, typewriting with regard to uh, typewriting with regards of the uh, uh, age of that type uh, typewriting. Okay, the, pay, uh, the pens, okay, with regards to ink, okay, who are the manufacturer, okay, what is the date of the manufacturing, okay. Another one is holographic document or uh, holograph, okay. Any document uh, completely written and signed by one person. In a number of jurisdictions, a holographic will can be probated without anyone having witness in its execution. Take note, the term can be probated without anyone having witness in its execution. So meaning when we say holographic document, this is known as the um, um, last will and testament. Okay? An example of holographic document is a last will and testament. Okay? So uh, 
of course um kunyari kapag marami kayong mga maraming lupa yung lolo ninyo, di pwede yung paggawin ng last will and testament and then uh, ipangalan sa inyo. And uh, in uh, uh, as I said, okay, holographic document okay can be probated without any having witness in its execution. Okay? So uh, another uh, term Okay, important term is alteration. Alteration refers to the change in writing made by the party thereto or by some person entitled there under after it's uh, after the instrument has been executed. Such change such uh, changes is made without the consent of the other party interested and give the instrument a different effect from that where it is originally possessed. Okay? So how it is made? How alteration is made? You may ask. Okay? How the alteration is made by someone? So alteration, okay, uh, may be made in any of the following. Okay? Or it can be made by means of erasures, addition, okay, substitution, insertion, interlination, and obliteration. Because alteration, based on the definition of alteration, it is the or refers to the change in writing made by the uh, by the party there too. So meaning we can change it by means of erasures, deletion or delete. Okay, you can delete someone or you delete something with the document. It is considered as an alteration. When you insert someone or place someone in the or uh, place some uh, some writings rather. If you place some writings in the document, okay, you insert, okay, uh, obliterate, nagbura ka, okay, pinatungan mo ng um, uh, other coloring material, okay, for it to be word to be invisible, that is considered as a form of alteration, okay. So um, when uh, when the document contains such uh, changes either by um, erasures, alteration, uh, erasures, addition, insertion, uh, interlination or obliteration, substitution, okay? The document is considered as altered document. Okay? So I'll repeat. When the document is contains, okay, or contains contained an erasures, insertion, substitution, uh, interlination, okay, obliteration, it is considered or referred to as altered document. So number six is addition or insertion or interlination. Okay, so a part of a document after its original preparation. So the term, okay, a term insertion and interlination includes addition of writing and other materials between lines or par paragraph or uh, the addition of full page to a document. So in other words, addition, insertion, or interlination is a form parts. Okay? Uh, uh, magkakasama yung mga yan. Kumbaga is, uh, they have the same meaning. Okay? So, or uh, it can be used interchangeably in our subject. The term addition, insertion, or interlination. And erasures. Okay? So the removal of um, writings, typewriting, or printing from a document. It may be accomplished either of the two means. Okay? Uh, it, it's either mechanical or chemical erasures. Okay? So, um, um, still, um, addition, insertion, termination, and uh, erasures is a form part of alteration. Another one is obliteration. Obliteration is the uh, blotting out or uh, shearing over the writing to make original invisible uh, to us an addition. So, take note the term blotting out or sharing over. So, meaning uh, by placing some uh, chemicals or um, uh, object 
in order for the writings or the words or phrase to be invisible, then sa kanila ngayon i-insert yung word na gusto nila or yung phrase na gusto nila. That is known as obliteration, the blotting out or sharing over. Okay? Another one is um, document examiners or handwriting identification expert. So uh, it is defined as one who studies scientifically the details and elements of a document in order to identify their source or to discover other parts concerning them. Document examiners are often referred to as handwriting identification expert, but today, the word has uh, outgrown this uh, uh, later uh, titled and involves um, other problems that merely examination of handwriting. Okay, so um, as far as document examiner and the high handwriting identification expert, we can also refer them as a forensic question document examiner or a forensic question document expert. Okay. So, um, last meeting, uh, we already talked what are the qualification or, uh, yes, who may become as a document examiner, okay, um, according to, uh, according to ABC, uh, ABCDF, okay, so, uh, or American Question Document um, Accrediting Agency, okay. So, um, <clears throat> next is identification or identity and non-identification and non-identity. Okay, so uh, it is um, uh, it is um, a term, okay, as uh, identification as similarity or what is the similarities and non-identification is what is the dissimilarities, okay? So meaning what are the difference? Ano yung pagkakaparehas at ano yung hindi nila pagkakaparehas? It is um um uh, an uh, tawag dito, it is determined during the uh, uh ASB methodology or analysis, comparison, evaluation and um uh, ano na yung isa? I don't know. Um analysis, comparison, evaluation, and the verification methodology. Okay? So, identification, okay, um, it is the state of being uh, identical or absolutely the same as similar of the uh, similarity of source or authorship of question document. Okay? So, as I said before, okay, no two person have the same um, uh, handwriting exactly alike. Okay, there are some details that makes them, or there are some element of the handwriting or signatures that makes, okay, other person to be different from each other. So when we say non-identity or non-identification, okay, it means that the source or authorship of compared, questioned, and standard specimen is different. Okay, so meaning magkaiba yung uh, uh, the the question doc the standard document or the exemplar specimen okay or uh, yes the exemplar document or specimen and the uh, question document has been right okay by only one person okay based on the examination conducted by the question document expert Another one is expert witness. Who may become as an expert witness, or who may be as an uh, who may be an expert witness? Okay. So, um, expert witness is a legal term used to describe a witness who, by reason of his special training or experience, is permitted to express an opinion regarding the issue or certain aspect of the issue which is involved in a court action okay so um uh, in other words when you say special uh, yes special um expert witness rather when we say ex expert witness 
they are a person or um yes they are a person who who has a special training or experience okay kumbaga in question document examination um uh, they acquire okay a training in question document examination okay Let's say for example uh, one of the training is of course you are uh, uh, your uh, your educational training in bs criminology okay can be as one of the um can be one of the example or one of the special training or experience another one is uh, you were undergone the training in um uh, philippine criminalistic society of the philippine or yes philippine criminalistic society okay specifically in question document examination um experience okay let's say for example you are employed uh, in crime laboratory or in a forensic uh, crime laboratory okay educational training uh, let's say for example you finish a forensic science in some accredited institution okay so um <clears throat> those uh, special training ex and experience okay or based on the special training or experience which is our that may be acquired by the person or uh, an expert okay makes him an expert witness or makes uh, may qualify him or her as an expert witness in giving opinion okay in any issues concern especially uh, in which involved court action another one is qualification okay uh, the professional experience education and ability of a document examiner before before he is permitted to testify as an expert witness the court must rule that he is qualified in his field so when we say qualification uh, it is the determination or the measurement okay of your uh, professional experience in terms of what you are testifying okay so um meaning kumbaga istitignan nila yung credibility mo to serve as an expert witness okay it will measure your um, uh, professional experience okay um how long or yes how long you have been um testifying in court in terms of question document how many cases did you solve okay uh, in relation to question document in terms of your education okay uh, including your bachelor's degree kasama yan okay so um in qualification the uh, the court may determine whether the uh, the witness or the expert witness is qualified or not another one is conclusion and opinion so how about conclusion and opinion so conclusion is the scientific conclusion result from relating to observed facts by logical common sense common sense reasoning in accordance with the established rules of law so when we say uh, uh, con uh, conclusion it is the scientific findings of the examiner okay so which is uh, 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 tawag dito, which is established on the rules of law on the other hand okay um opinion okay in legal language it refers to a document examiner's conclusion so actually in court he do not um he do not or she do not only have ex uh, uh, an expert okay could not only uh, express an opinion but demonstrate the reasons for its arriving at his opinion so in other words okay conclusion and opinion can be used interchangeably okay in ordinary communication conclusion and opinion can be used interchangeably but when the question document expert provides a uh, conclusion okay and uh, 
uh, expresses his opinion or conclusion in court presentation, this is called as opinion. Okay? Because um, he demonstrating, okay, uh, it is opinion because um, in court presentation, dini demonstrate niya kung ano yung ginawa niya. Okay? What are the uh, first thing that must be done by the, ex when, by the expert when he is conducting or she is conducting um, examination? So, um, next is... Okay, so those are the uh, important terms to be considered in, the, in our discussion in forensic question document examination. Some important terms. Okay, when we go to the other topic or uh, yes, when we are in the other topic, let's say for example in handwriting examination, okay, uh, we have an additional um, definition of terms. Okay, so next topic is what is the purpose of document examination? Okay. So, um, a document may be examined to know the following. So, of course, the identity of the author. Okay? So, um, another one is the true content of the document or authenticity of the document. Okay? So, of course, those are the uh, purpose. Okay? Whether the document okay, is authentic. Okay? whether the origin of the instrument or paper used in making the document. Okay? So, yung instrument ba ay parehas ba? Okay? What are the writing instrument? So, of course, the pen, okay, pencil or uh, a paper, those are the uh, writing instrument. Okay? Alterations or erasures which made the, uh, uh, which have been made. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, one of the important purposes of or purpose of document examination is to furnish an investigator in the field with sufficient background information concerning document examination. Why? Why do we need to furnish them? Because the investigator is known as the uh, the prover of the case. Okay. They, they will also, same, same with the uh, question document examiner, they will present okay, their self, okay? Or the, yes, they are present their self, okay? In court, court hearing, okay? Pinapatawag din sila ng korte para mag-present doon, okay? Para uh, tignan kung tama ba yung ginawa nilang investigation, okay? So, um, next is, how about the value of document examination? Okay. The value of question document examination is a proof of the fact that the document was altered or made by a particular, particular individual may be shown. Okay. So, take note the term, a proof of fact. So, meaning, that is an evidence. Okay. That is a that is a form of evidence. Okay, when we say evidence, when we say evidence, evidence is a means sanctioned by the rules of court of ascertaining in a judicial proceeding respecting a matter of fact. Okay, the the, the word phrase or the, the the word means under the definition of evidence means um uh, yeah, where, uh either it is a uh, um. Uh, physical evidence, uh, testimonial evidence, or documentary evidence. Okay? So, evidence that document was altered, made by the particular individual, may show okay, that he committed the crime. Okay? Especially in the uh, kidnap for ransom. Okay, kidnap for ransom, uh, uh, suicide with the suspected uh, foul play. Okay, uh, another one is he had a knowledge on the crime. Okay, a proof. Okay, that a person is knowledgeable on the crime committed. 
and um, he was present in a certain locality at this spe specified time. Okay? So, ito rin yung nagsasabi na the value of document examination. Nagsasabi na yung isang tao ay nasa, uh, nasa lugar din yun. Doon sa pinang, nasa lugar kung saan ang pinangyarihan ng krimen. So, uh, another one is the uh, legal basis in uh, legal basis of document. So, what are, actually, there are three legal basis of document. Okay, so um, uh, as an evidence, of course, legal basis of document as a form of evidence. So when we say um, uh, legal basis, number one, one of the legal basis is uh, in relation to the criminal jurisprudence. Okay, under the best evidence rule. So when we say criminal jurisprudence in the Philippines, our, jurispru our uh, criminal jurisprudence, of course, uh, was based on the uh, criminal law one, okay? Criminal law one or the book one of the revised penal code and then book two of the revised penal code, okay? Um, special laws, okay? Criminal, uh, criminal evidence, criminal procedure, Okay, court testimony, those are uh, our criminal jurisprudence here in the Philippines. Okay, but uh, under the, um, in relation to the uh, criminal jurisprudence under the best evidence rule, okay, any physical embodiment of information or ideas, okay, example given are the, a letter, a contract, a receipt, a book of account, a blur print or x-ray plate, is considered as a document and though and um uh, dito, can be used as an evidence okay some of the can be considered as uh, a basis okay of evidence okay sir uh, you may ask sir what is a best evidence rule so um when we say uh, um, a best evidence, when we say best evidence rule under the uh, criminal evidence, um, best evidence rule means it is the original writing rule. Okay? It, is, it can also be, it is also referred to as an original writing or original uh, writing rule. So, best evidence rule is uh, the original writing uh, recording or uh, photograph, okay, is um is a best way of proving the actual content of evidence, okay. So this uh, this is because requiring the best evidence may ensures that the litigant provide evidence that will best facilitate a court task of accurately resolving dispute issues of fact, okay. So other evidence of uh, writing, uh, recording, or photograph will be admissible only if the original document is not available. Okay? So take note the uh, term uh, admissible. When does evidence is admissible? Okay? So, of course, evidence is admissible when it is relevant to the issue. Okay, and not excluded by the rule or by the court of law or the rules of court, sabi nga natin. Okay, so um, meaning it is relevant. Okay, so take note ah. Um, <clears throat> um, ang tawag dito, the, the, the other copy. Yes, the other copy of the document, such as the secondary evidence, rather, the secondary evidence can be accepted or can be admissible in court, okay, when the original document is not available, okay? So, uh, that is meant by other evidence in writing. Kumbaga, these are the secondary evidence. Huh? 
So take note that class ah. So a photo sir, can a photocopy can be used as an evidence? Yes. When? Okay? When the original document okay is not available. Okay? So um what are the other legal basis? Number two is document is, uh, according to the case of People versus Moreno, okay, a document in any written instrument by which a right is established or an obligation is extinguished. Okay, so um, another one is um, it was um, it was the legal basis because it is a decided case. Okay, it was held okay on the People versus Moreno. Okay, so um, another one is um, document is uh, every uh, is every deed or instrument executed by a person by which some disposition or agreement is proved, evidence or set forth. Okay, so um, uh, it is also a legal basis because it was held. Okay, in the case of people versus Niloskin. Okay. So both the case of people versus Moreno and people versus um, Niloskin, okay, are both um, falsification of uh, uh, deed of sale or absolute deed of sale. Okay, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was somewhere in um, Tagayan de Oro. Okay, so those are the uh, legal basis of a document. Okay, another one is um, what are the writings which do not constitute document? How about, sir, ano naman yung mga writings na, meron po bang mga writings? You may ask, sir, is there any writings that may do not constitute as a document? Of course, the answer is yes. Okay, so um, uh, let's say, for example, a draft okay, of municipal payroll which is not yet approved Okay, by the proper authority, take note the phrase not yet approved. Okay, uh, when the drop of uh, payroll, municipal payroll, is not yet approved by the proper authority, then it is not considered, uh, it, it is not constituted as a document. Okay, so uh, it is not constituted as a document per se. Another one is a mere uh, blank, uh, blank forms of official document. The spaces which are not filled up, take note or the take note the phrase or word, not filled up. Okay, hindi pa yan na fill upan. Okay, meron pang mga blank spaces. It is not considered as or <coughs> excuse me, uh, constitute as a document. Another one is a pamphlet or books which do not uh, evidence any uh, disposition or agreement are not uh, not a document but a mere merchandise okay so um it is just a mere goods okay for selling so it is not considered as a document so um how about what are the kinds of uh document okay so um Doc kinds of documents can be a public document, official document, private document, and commercial document. So how can we say that a document is a public document? So a document is considered as a public document when any instrument, uh, when, when the document okay, is notarized by the notary public or by a competent uh, public officials uh, with solemn uh, with solemnities okay required by the law so um uh, from the part of the public uh, when we say public document these are the uh, from the part of the public records okay birth certificates and marriage contracts and etc is considered as a public document okay on the other hand, official document is um, uh, refers to any instrument, uh, any instrument issued by the government or 
its agent or its officers having the authority to do so and the uh, offices which is in accordance with their creation they are authorized to issue and uh, uh, be issued in a performance of their duty so meaning uh, when we say official uh, document um these are in connection with the uh, public officers official function official function okay suspension letters and barangay clearance are considered as a official document. Okay? Take note, ah, official document are those any materials who are issued by the government or his agent in connection to their uh, offices, okay, in accordance with the creation, okay, in accordance to the uh, things that they are issues in the performance of their duties are considered as official document. Okay? So, when we say public document, it is uh, those documents that are uh, with the intervention of the notary public or a competent public uh, officials that may uh, uh, required by the law. So, uh, that may officially um, required by the law to solemnly nice okay oh, so um another one is uh, private document so uh, as far as private document is concerned every deed or uh, instrument executed by private person without the intervention of the notary public is considered as a private document so meaning uh um, a resume okay, which is executed by individual it is uh, considered as a private document okay so a love letter okay a love letter is considered as a private document okay so um a last will and testament is considered as a private document Another one is a commercial document. How about commercial document? Commercial document is, <clears throat> sorry, a commercial document is any instrument executed in accordance with the Code of Commerce or uh, any mer, uh, mer, um, mercantile, uh, mercantile law containing uh, dispositions of commercial rights or obligations. Okay? So, uh, let's say, for example, a receipt. Okay, so a receipt is considered as a commercial document. So those are the four kinds of document. Okay, here in the Philippines, okay, um, those are the four types of the public, the official, and pr private and commercial document. So how about the, what are the uh, classes of question documents? Okay, what are the classes of uh, question documents? So, classes of question documents, okay, are the documents with question signatures, okay? Uh, merong question, merong, uh, the, the signature is under scrutiny or under investigation. Question documents are uh, alleged to have been containing fraudulent alteration. Okay, so is there any... Uh, uh, is the document being questioned is um, uh, fraudulent? Uh, there, uh, there is a con uh, contains a fraudulent alteration. So when we say fraudulent alteration, um, intentionally, okay, without good pay, intentionally uh, insert some uh, some uh, writings or um, uh, ang tawag dito, words or phrase, okay, without the um, ang tawag dito? without the consent of the other party, questioned or disputed, uh, questioned or disputed holographic will, okay? So, the, such as the holographic will, the last will and testament, and then the notarial will, okay? So, holographic will is, there is no uh, intervention of the, uh, a writing of the testor, meaning there is no intervention of the um, 
there is no intervention of the notary public. However, when we say notarial will, these are the uh, this is the will, the will and the the uh, will and testament, okay, uh, attested by the notary public. So um, take note that there are two kinds of um, holograph uh, types of uh, last will and testament. So it can be a holographic, and the other one is a notary notarial. Yung holographic, there is no. Uh, uh, intervention of the notary public. On the other hand, notarial is there is a uh, intervention of notary public. Another one is document investigated on question of typewriting with view of, okay, ascertaining their source, okay, determining where what is or uh, where is the source, ascertaining their date, what is the original date, okay, determining or whether or not the contained prudent alterations. Or uh, substituted, um, yes, substituted pages. Okay. So um, another one is um, other classes of question documents are question document on issues on their age or date. Okay. So uh, let's say, for example, alam naman natin kung yung document ay bago pa or hindi na. So it, it contains... Uh, discoloring of the paper, baka matagal na yan. Okay, or uh, perhaps bago lang, pero because of some uh, foreign materials or some um, chemicals na nilagay, sa bago. Question document on issues of materials on their productions. Okay, so they are claiming that the um, the the accused or the respondent are claiming that this document are produced in 1980s but however uh, this do, this document are only or yes this document is only been uh, created or materials or production of that uh, uh, document are created only or manufactured only in 2000 year 2000 okay so that is considered question Document or writing investigated because it is alleged that they ident uh, identify some persons through handwriting. So um, anonymous and disputed letters, okay, and uh, sub superscript uh, superscription, registration and uh, uh, miscellaneous writing. Okay, when we say sub uh, sub uh, superscriptions. Registration and um, miscellaneous writing. Uh, this uh, writing is under investigation because it contains um, erasures, indentation, uh, ganyan. Okay. So um, again, class, thank you. Um, um, hope uh, you um, uh, hopefully that. Uh, um, you uh, you understand our uh, discussion okay if you have some query or question with regards to my discussion okay uh, you are free to ask during our uh, online discussion or online meeting on the um, uh, ms team okay so um again see you by uh, next um Next video in our subject, Forensic Question Document Examination. Okay, dismiss.